How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy. I'm a category manager here at Tech Reynolds today. We're just going to have a, a look at this uh, Fluke DSX 5000. Now, what we're going to do is uh, now, oh, the kit comes with a couple of channel adapters and the permanent link adapters. Now, what we're going to do is test this piece of infrastructure, simulated piece of infrastructure. Um, it's um, Cat5e. Now, when we're testing Cat5e, Cat5e we're going to use ISO 11801 Class D, and if you're cat testing Cat6, you're going to use Class E, 11801 Class E, and if you're using Cat6a, you're going to be using, um, doing test um, ISO 11801 Class EA. Now you need to know those, and uh, so I'm assuming you'll be okay. So in this day, today we're just going to be using this, doing this test on this Cat 5E cable. Okay, we switch the instruments on. Push start. Push start. Wait for it to boot. First thing we need to do is set the reference. So. We'll need one of the permanent link adapters and one of the channel adapters here. So, we wait to start up. Now, under the tools menu here, hit the tools menu, there's a set reference there. So, it gives us the diagram. So, I plug the channel adapter there. I'm going to plug my permanent link adapter in here and then interconnect the two. Right, and then I press test. Okay, now that has been completed. Then we come back. Now I need to set, uh, now it's a test, we're going to test our infrastructure so we don't need this channel adapter anymore. I'll remove that and I'll need to plug the other permanent link adapter in. So, Plug this in here, and we plug this one in here. So now we've got our infrastructure all connected up appropriately, and um, now we're not ready yet to make a test because we need to now set the standard which we're testing to. So I'll hit this here. Now I need to edit this, so I'll hit the edit button here. Now. We're going to be testing Cat5e. We're going to be setting the limits. The appropriate limit for Cat5e will be the um, ISO 11801 Class D, which happens to be at the top. And the um, we need to make sure this store plot data is switched on. And we need to set the um, wiring to T568A. Okay, so we'll use selected. Now, we save that. Now, we're going to use selected down here. And we need to now test. Okay, test has been completed. So we can click on performance here, come down, click on next, and it gives us the graph of the results. Now, we can click on worst margin and we notice this is the green line down the bottom and we can see that the fact that that's pair um, three, six, five, four, five are the worst. Now, if this, this is, becomes very useful is the fact if this is, this is orange, it'll say pass, but it may mean the fact that it's a marginal pass. In other words, it's pass, but only just. So, Anyway, at this point in time, we can save the um, measurement and we can also, um, we've got unsaved results, we can save the measurement and we can now print out the appropriate certificates, etc., for our uh, certification 5E, CAT 5E. Easy to use, quick to use, it's a great little instrument. Thank you very much.